Hi there, and welcome back to another 7 News. What's that? Why am I wearing this rather fetching denim jacket? Well, I can tell you it's not because I want to relive my misspent youth. No, 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 no. This week is about much more noble causes. So here are the rest of this week's headlines. The Festival of Life makes a double appearance this month, landing in both Cardiff and London, and the Sher Group's night vigil will also be held this month. I have sickle cell anemia, which is one of the sickle cell disorders. The fact that there are no visible signs. So if I say I'm, I'm in pain, it's like, where? <laughs> It's, it's, I think sometimes when you don't see something, it's very difficult to believe it. And having blood disorder, like my condition is, you can't see anything because it's in the blood. And even when you are in a lot of pain, because there's nothing really visible, it's very hard for people to grasp. I think the most distinctive thing about my condition is the way it can be so unpredictable. Sickle cell. It's genetic, so you can't catch it. <laughs> um, and I inherited it from both of my parents. My mum and my dad are both, both have sickle cell trait. Mm -hmm. So I inherited sickle cell disorder because of their genes. And what it does is it changes the shape of your red blood cells. So whereas mo most people, their red blood cells are round, mine are crescent-shaped or sickle-shaped, hence the name. <laughs> and because they're shaped, they can get caught amongst each other when they're in small capillaries. So as your blood is flowing, they can get stuck together. And also the sickle cells are more sticky as well. So it's difficult for them when they are all clumped together to release. And what this does is it causes my body to have a lot of pain. And this can occur in any part of my body and at any time. Having blood transfusions reduces the amount of sickle cells that I have in my blood. It feels like there's a pressure point and it feels like you're going to snap. <laughs> my average school attendance is about 60%, two years behind going to uni. It's hard to see where everybody else is going and you being held back. Um, that's something that's really difficult to do. It doesn't look like I have anything wrong with me, but I, I go through a lot. This month is a double whammy. There will be two festivals of life. The first will be in Wales on the 15th of October at Cardiff International Arena and the theme is Let the Wind Blow. Two weeks later, we'll be back at London Excel on the 29th of October. Doors will open from 7pm and the theme is Lord of Lords. Cher, the Ministry for Married Couples, who are believing for the fruit of the womb, will be holding a night vigil this Friday, 10th of October, in the Jesus House Worship Centre. This will be a night of building relationships, sharing experiences and information. The event will be open to couples from other churches. For more information, please contact Chinalu. We'd like to remind you that the Birthing the New Prayer meetings with Pastor Agu continue into the month of October, every Thursday evening between 7pm and 9pm. We strongly encourage you to come down and pray. Oh, and don't forget to visit our website, jesushouse.org.uk, for all the latest stories, events and volunteering opportunities. Well, that's seven news for now. On behalf of the team, we'd just like to say, make an impact, support Jeans for Jeans, and have a fantastic week. God bless.